Here's I, the Reverend Godfather, aka the Martinsburg Man Man. I'm also the main host and frontman for the Long Coat Mafia podcast, the internet's most hated mafia themed geek podcast. We are here at Four State Comic Con 2023. We're about to go inside, and it's going to be starting in about three minutes or so. Once we do, we'll show you guys and gals around, starting with the dealer section. Then we'll do Artist Alley. But this year, we're not going to really do a cosplay row like we did last year. But before we go inside, let me give a special shout out to the man behind the movie Zero. That's Z dash E R O. Links to everything, Le links to that movie and the Facebook will be in the description down below. The man behind that, that movie, Wes, is the man that got me here today. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here today. And I guess for the, some of you who listen to our audio show, aspects of our show, might know that I kind of critiqued his first film rather harshly, or seemingly rather harshly. Um, there's nothing but respect between me and Wesley. I owe him one for getting me here and quite possibly me getting back. And guess who's here who showed up? Uh, the one, the only, Sasha the Princess of Darkness. Hey, how's it going? And she, I'll be bumping into her uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, probably in my uh, green, getting some content. So I'll see you guys on the floor in regards to our walkthrough. Well, folks, it's time to head on in. Like I said, we're going to start with the dealer section first. We might head with, well, well, everybody, it looks like they kind of moved a lot of stuff forward than they did last year because it seems like there's a lot of space between where these this line of uh, vendors are and where Artist Alley's it is. So let's start here this end and we'll kind of work our way out around this is the atypical uh, I won't say atypical this is the four state booth where they have their charity auction they had one last year and this is as you can see a lot of granted um, you're seeing some comic book stuff like uh, uh, movies from like Batman vs. Robin, V for Vendetta, figures and all that. Ditko Mert, someone who's uh, strictly Ditko memorabilia. And here's Barrio. We met these folks last year. Though we said in our uh, intro that we weren't going to wander cosplay row doesn't mean we'll say hello to some of our favorite cosplayers that we met last year like this wonderful young lady we met her last year As a matter of fact we have an interview with her and her father last year that we snagged so it's happy to see you guys here so how you guys been doing how was your Saturday great great had a good one how about you uh, very well you uh, no we couldn't make it uh, for today, so we're here as a ticket holder. Yep. So uh, we just wanted to do our thing and just hang out with our con family and see how everybody's doing. Good to again, good to see you too. And he, we'll speak to her. She's really busy right now, but we'll get to her. And here's Fred Holt Cosplay. He was one of the judges yesterday. And Lane Lee Cat. Excuse me. Hey, how are you? Doing all right yourself? I'm good. Behaving yourself? Never. Good. <laughs> Better that way. Yep. And here's Ghost and Hi, how are you? Doing all right yourself? Good. Are you guys behaving today? Absolutely Never. not. It's four state comic con. You have to have some fun. That's what she said. <laughs> We're on the same page. Then. Good. <laughs> Enjoy. You too. Hey, I'm happy you made it, man. Yeah, I didn't think so. And here's the one, the only. Donnie Drum. Good to see how you've been doing. I've actually had a pretty you know, good weekend folks, so far, bud. This man has been through some shit. And he's here at Four State Comic Con selling his wonderfully made props. I already sold about 40% of what I made in day one. Yeah, as um even did a fair bit of touch up. 
made these little pieces. I even did this rust colored layer this morning while I was waiting for everybody to come in and show up. All the hammers have been touched up. As you see, even the points where it could break, all have their strong points. Even though, ladies and gentlemen, they come apart here. They come apart here. So you can load them in your car, you can put them away just so somebody doesn't yell at you at home. But, as you can see, they still work and they still come, come together just to see. Now, folks, when David Kerr said he needed props done for his movie, he was the first man I thought of. First man. I don't know if the things worked out for him, but still, he was the first man I thought of. Had to. I said, I don't know if he's got beef with him and David got beef, but first person to come to mind. Uh, I also have been working on a couple different projects here. I have Little Red Rosie, Heavy Duty Man coming out here in the next eight months. I have a couple different conventions coming up after Four State. We have Main Street Comic Con in Waynesboro, and we have DNI Con next week. It's at oh, it's in Philly at the at the uh, convention center where they just had Monster Mania here this past November. So I, this charity based show. And it has a strong, strong DS9 reunion going on. I highly encourage you to go out to dnicon.org, follow the info, and you might see me in a totally different costume you would never expect me in. Not only is Donnie a wonderful prop maker, he's also a wonderful cosplayer as well. I've seen some of the stuff he's done, and it is awesome. So. Good seeing you, man. Good seeing Good you, seeing too. You. I am very happy you made it. Yeah. I didn't think so at first, but thanks for at least a bunch of great people got me here. So. Well, that's what this, what's what Four State's all about. Yeah, it's family. <laughs> I could get one made up. Yeah. Interviews. We met her last year. And there's Miss Cupkey. You know thing? podcast man himself yeah how you doing buddy i didn't think i was going to be here today <laughs> i saw, I saw and this is An folks this is andrew the man behind how's forcey it going? how's it going so we always see him around yeah running around this doing end, things that end, and that end, i know how it is <laughs> <laughs> oh enjoy man i'll be you around too. you'll see same, me same here. in the background <laughs> so and the, here's last year's the voice of god yes <laughs> and how you doing this evening uh, about the same. Yeah, you know, you yeah. behaving yourself? Theoretically. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> and here is my cat. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Tentacles. Why does it have to be tentacles? <laughs> I didn't make the character. I'm just cosplaying. <laughs> <laughs> and we have keep skates. 3D. I think, um, yeah, oh, yeah. We met these guys in Baltimore a few years ago. They, if you're, they can make action figures out of you. So whether you're cosplaying, a podcaster like myself, you get to have your own action figure. And let's go down here. One of the things that we love about at least Sundays is that they're quiet. Maybe we'll get some great content for everybody. And here's another vendor, and they have DVDs, games, and even mystery packs. Who doesn't love mystery packs, man? We love mystery packs. Always get something new, something new, like cups, glitter cups. Comics, as always. Squishmallows, pillows, purses, keychains. Man, she she goes very fast. That's an experience. Uh, cookies and food. They should always get some munchies on. Let's see if we get uh, Miss Phoenix on. She's always busy. We'll start, we'll try to do a spender uh, vendor spotlight for her. But um, Miss Phoenix does all this. This is her booth here, and I'll try to get a link off of her in regards to her merch. So I'll support her. She's one of the many great vendors here. Prince, props and incense. We might come back to this guy, this vendor. Like I said, you can always find uh, the smaller 
shows are usually the best because you find a lot of unique stuff like the bigger shows like Baltimore can and also as much as the regular stuff like Comets, Prince and uh, stuff like this. Get on 3D, 3D paper art. That's new. I said Valeria was here last year. See our vendor spotlight in regards to them. Three D printing for Nerf dice towers. Get some sense. I'll be around to target you in a minute. In a few. And here's the one and only man behind Fortress Power who's saying, We met this gentleman here last year. See our vendor spotlight in regards to this gentleman. So good to see you back at Four Did you have a good Saturday? Absolutely. Thank you. So, what's new? What's new? We have a couple new books since the last time you saw us. Bammer of Blood is our action horror. Basically, imagine if John Wick fought Jason Voorhees. Ooh. Action horror, guns, guts, and there's a good plot to it, too. Awesome. Glad that you had fun yesterday. Oh, absolutely. So, it's great seeing you. Again. Great seeing you, too. I didn't think I was going to be here today. Oh, sure. So, it was oh, right. great coming back and seeing uh, a lot of familiar faces and a lot of awesome folks. Wonderful, wonderful. And stage, we got more comics. There's always, you don't have to come, remember folks, you don't have to have a lot of money to come to a, uh, a show like this. Like, this vendor right here has $5 and $2 and $1 bins. So, you could always save money, and if you don't have any, if you're broke, you could always, always attend panels. And you have someone like this, that if you're into steampunk, get your goggles on, get your lenses and all, that whole fun jazz, even horns and stuff, or wh wherever they might be, necklaces. You got some posters and other sticky stuff. And you have... Everything taken care of if you can't even curse you write your own name. You have this. Look at this, man. Oh, no, no. Uh, the thing about... Um, folks like that is that uh, some folks right here yeah they can do what they do there's other folks that's like hey uh, we got you know if you film us there's a chance that uh, we could be DMC8 not me us at the show but them because what they're doing is very borderline if not sketchy Ooh. get some marshmallow Would you like to try one uh, Peach mango or cold brew coffee? Cold brew coffee. You got it. I was going to say the answer is yes. You want to try one? <laughs> and it's marshmallows. Yes, it is. Oh, coffee. Coffee. <laughs> coffee. I may be back. We'll, we'll be. be here. <laughs> and well, I know some of you are like, Rev, you're, uh, you're a diabetic. Why'd you have a marshmallow? Well, it's been a couple hours since I had something and the marshmallow's not gonna really hurt me. So, like I said, you're always gonna find something like Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, character, caricatures of different things. Here we have uh, Celebrity Row. We got the Ghostbusters here, Charm City Ghostbusters. Where's, oh, there's Peter. We'll see if we can get a conversation with Peter. He's a, he's a voice actor. And uh, Nico is, uh, is right behind Vigo. He's over there. He's a uh, four-state alum. And these folks here were here last year. They do 3D photos. Not so much 3D. Uh, pretty much think um, Matrix-style uh, rotating fo photos. You, so that's what they do it's kind of is it 3d yes but it, it's like 360 yep. that's what I was thinking about thanks man 
say you get magic cards. So if you're starting into magic, this is a good place to get some great stuff. Always oh, different vendors. Get some batterings. Whenever you and weaponry to like fight vampires and stuff. Popcorn and food and freeze dried candy. Not to mention stuff for the horror fans and garbage spell kids. There's always something for somebody at a time. From keychains to horror stuff to comics to magic wands. This gentleman was here last year. I was in this very spot. And this very spot. I requested the same spot so I wouldn't get lost. That means we were over there. Exactly. <laughs> so, did you have a good weekend? Yeah, actually, yesterday was really nice. So, so good to hear. I'm yeah. in hearing that a lot. Yeah, yep. I think uh, after last year coming back from the pandemic, you know, people were a little tentative, but this year. And it's pandemic. good to hear. I saw on Facebook that they had a, uh, yet another record breaking Saturday. They did. Yeah, so, yeah, attendance was good. So good to hear. I'll probably see you around. So. <laughs> More horror masks. These guys are, have been here for good many years. Matter of fact, they were here last year, same spot. D and D stuff. Who doesn't need D and D stuff? Treasures for the busy George, dungeon master, Vanish the Gray, hand painted miniatures. Oh, fudge. These, I think these guys were here last year, too. Yeah, some independent artists like uh, like her in the area. We'll try to speak to uh, different folks later on when we get time. It's like they didn't set up yet. We met this gentleman last year. Matter of fact, he was our neighbor last year at Four State. Yes. How you, how you doing? I'm very well, and yourself? Very well. Uh, any new flavors this year? Uh, we might have some new stuff. I'm not quite sure. I'm always working on something. <laughs> Did you have a good Saturday? Yes, very good. Good to hear. Popcorn's always popular. Yes. Especially flavored absolutely. popcorn. So. Have a good one. You too. Yeah, yeah George. Oh, excuse me. Uh, smells like incense coming from there. She came up to I thought you knew her. Or like Lego figures. And we met this fellow last year. We have a uh, vendor spotlight featuring him. Hello. How are you doing? And we have an author, one of the few authors that we've first author, or one of the many authors we've seen. Yeah, and I think this is your first four state? No, second. Second? Yep. What was your first? Uh, this con last year. How did we miss you? Not sure. I was basically right over there when the rose went this way. I don't know how we didn't miss you. How we missed you last year. So we might stop by and have a conversation with that you when we, good. if we have time. So. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Got some pops, candles. Oh, tumblers actually. Tumblers include straw. Zealand. How you doing, sir? You're the man behind Zealand. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I Tell us, give us the uh, sales pitch. Man, Tolan is a brand new superhero. I created him. Uh, the hero's name is Drip. Drip is an acronym, stands for Do Right, Inspire People. We've got a lot of fast paced action. We've got an animators dropping later on this summer. And so we're just all full speed ahead. Love for you guys to take a look at us. Take a look at us at twolandcomics.com. All right. I'll put a link. Nice meeting you, sir. Very nice to meet you, sir. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's all good. And it looks like another new vendor here at Four State. No, no. Mm -hmm. okay. That's the man? Yeah, what's up? Uh, I was about to say, another new vendor at Four State, it seems. Hungry for humans. Yeah, we're so. Lonely Hero Games. Uh, happy to be here for the first time. You know, just selling our two titles, Bank Heist and Hungry for Humans. We're an independent board game publishing company and uh, pretty excited about it, you know? Good to meet you. I hope you uh, did well this weekend and continue to do well. Okay. well probably, uh, we're just doing a brief walkthrough right now. We'll probably come back and... Yeah, if you Hear want more information, so, you grab so. us, we'll talk.
Good I've to meet you, sir. Awesome. Yeah. Night, yeah. Night. Art of Nick Davis. Welcome to the Teddy. Teddy verse. <laughs> We have a lot more artists in the main section today. Or this year around. Including this gentleman here. We're, we're, we're definitely got to come around. Distorted Dreams, Haunted House. Like haunted houses? Nothing like a good haunted house. Yeah. Well, here, take a flyer. You know anybody that's interested in coming out or being an actor? We actually expanded and got twice as big. We're going to need some more actors this year. So um, a, I'll put I'll be more than happy to put the link to your thing awesome. in our description. But for the most part, tell us a little bit about yeah. Uh, well, the story of dreams is a new haunted house. Just we just uh, with the owners, uh, John and Claudia moved up from Florida and actually went to the uh, historic Fort Ritchie. So uh, actually, Fort Ritchie up in Cascade, Maryland. It's a new site of Distorted uh, Dreams Haunt. And um, you come out to it and you can go in. We're actually looking for actors. We expanded. Last year was a great year. Uh, we went to the Trans World in February out in St. Louis, Missouri. For, they go every year. We go every year. Get a bunch of people, get some new ideas. Uh, it's the national convention. It's kind of like Comic Con, but it's all horror. So it's pretty neat, you know what I mean? And it's kind of an out and have fun. And we're looking forward to having more people come out. and. Uh, like I said, I gave you that card. You can scan it. Um, you just come out. We're looking for new actors too, and we'll give you all the information once you scan on there. Good meeting you, sir. Yep. yep. Nice meeting you. Nice I'm meeting. Big Clyde. You'll see me inside if you come out there. Mm -hmm. So have a good day, man. You too. Thanks, buddy. Got. Oh, we have a podcaster here today. Camp Nightmare. We're not sure about them. Well, we'll probably speak to them because they're probably like us, getting content. Weaponry. Where else can you get weaponry? <laughs> it's the one, the only Dan Noakes. Nah, I'm his evil clone. Oh, wait a minute, I think I'm the good clone. Wait a minute. You could be Dan Noakes, or you could be the clone slave by that man right there. He's not very good at clones. <laughs> I expected you to be in Artist Alley, but alas, you're down here. Yeah, no, I was a last minute straggler, so I made it in just in time, so they got me here. So I have an anonymous, well, I had my anonymous celebrity t-shirt on yesterday, <laughs> so uh, they put me here in the celebrity area. So how have you been doing? Oh, uh, yesterday was really good. Uh, sold some books, posters, a couple sketch covers, it's all, all pretty good, so now I'm just hoping the rain doesn't keep people away or... Uh, keep their pocketbooks firmly clasped. <laughs> well, I hope you do well today. I, I do too, man. Makes two of us. I hear three of us. 